First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hello, this is Chris reporting in for First Update Now with the Behind the Bumpers with 2491. There we go. We'll let them introduce themselves and talk about their robot. Hi, I'm Mara, a programmer on 2491, and I wanted to talk a little bit about our general robot strategy and how we got to this robot. So at the beginning, right after kickoff, we had a couple meetings and decided that shooting into the outer goal was going to be the most consistent and most realistic, and that we would uh, rather have a very accurate um, shooter with multiple shooting speeds than having have a rotating turret. So we focused on that. And one of the ways that we have such an accurate shooter and make it super consistent is we have a PID loop on the shooter that corrects for any errors. Um, and that allows us to make almost every ball that we shoot. And we also, while looking at the game, realized how important having a consistent climb was. And so we spent a lot of our time designing and building our climber to make it as consistent and fast as possible. Hi, I'm Wesley. I'm the team captain of No Mythic. I'm going to talk a little bit about our ball manipulation system. So if you can actuate down the intake. So our intake here uh, is just actuated down on a virtual four bar system. Uh, and then we have these, uh, these big rollers that, that allow us to get balls from the whole width of the front of the robot. Uh, and the reduction here is about a 10 to 1 reduction. Uh, and then once it gets over the bumper, it'll go into our singulator system, which has these two belts running at uh, slightly different speeds. So uh, if we get two balls coming in at the exact same time, it allows us to separate them and send them into our uh, indexer system one at a time. So now, speaking of our indexer system, uh, our indexer is one uh, big poly, uh, two, one big loop of poly belt, uh, and then that kind of just brings the ball around uh, in a big loop in the robot to our shooter. Uh, a, a little interesting thing about our indexer system: uh, if you can actually, if you can actually actuate that back out. Uh, so in here. We have a strip of Teflon along the bottom of our indexer. Uh, and that's because when we were testing our original indexer, we had a lot of jams in our indexer. And uh, what we decided to do is we put this Teflon in here. It's allowed us to overcome a lot of those jams. So we jam, so we now jam a lot less. And now when we do jam, we can unjam un in less than five seconds, uh, which has really helped us keep our cycles up. Uh, another little thing about this is inside the, the poly belt, we originally didn't have any support for the poly belt, uh, and then that caused help cause jamming. So it's a little hard to see in here, but we have nine just idlers that help keep the poly belt rigid, and that's helped us with uh, consistency in the indexer. Uh, so that moves on to the shooter. We just have a little one-to-one uh, -one bag motor that feeds it into the shooter. So our shooter here uh, is just a single flywheel system. So we have uh, one fairlane wheel that's centered on the shooter, and then we have two uh, big metal discs uh, that are five pounds each. So in addition to the PID loop, uh, having these has really helped keep our shots consistent. So when we so we, we rev up in about half a second, and then once we shoot a ball, uh, our RPM will stay almost perfectly the same, and this has helped us be really consistent with our shots. Hi, I'm Owen. I'm the driver on Nomithic, and I'm on the build team. Uh, and I wanted to talk about our uh, climber a little bit. So our extension method uh, is very reliable and very fast. It uh, can reach uh, all the heights of the switch and um, has allowed us to climb in every single match, almost every single match so far. Um, it is powered by 775 to 1, uh, a 775 on a 7.5 to 1 reduction, uh, which spools this, uh, this spool of uh, string, and uh, which um, either unspools or respools. Uh, when we unspool, it uh, allows the climber to move up with the constant force springs. Uh, it's a telescoping design with um, three moving uh, stages. And in order to uh, not have our motor constantly, uh, constantly uh, die on us, uh, we've also included a little piston brake uh, that fits around this hex shaft. Um, we also have a little spring on the back of it, which uh, constantly pushes it in and uh, doesn't send the uh, extension up when we're not trying to uh, actually climb. So if you could send that up. Oh, OK. Uh, so it's a little bit jammed right now, but uh, that's how that works. Once we've placed the hook, we obviously need to uh, bring ourselves up. And for that, we have these uh, spools, which spin freely. Um, 
the, uh, they take string from both sides of the robot, um, one going through this clevis pin right here and the other going around this rod. Um, they're locked in place during the match with this uh, second class lever break. Um, and when we want to climb, we uh, engage this, uh, we engage these together with a ball shifter. Um, and then doing that, uh, so this, this gear turns the entire time while we are, um, the entire match while we're driving. So we engage it onto here, then use the, uh, our drivetrain motors to climb up. Uh, and that has allowed us to be extremely consistent, like I said, with climbing. Um, and another thing is we've been uh, very true to our original strategy um, that we set out at the beginning of the year. Uh, I think every single match we've played from the trench uh, consistently and attempted to climb. Uh, and that's allowed us to be really successful at this competition and extremely consistent. All right, thank you guys. This is Chris signing out with First Updates Now here with a Behind the Bumpers interview. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.